in November we saw the first we saw the first results of the quiz. But really, uh, in in January and in March, March was the best yeah. uh, Incredible. up to now. Yeah, in <laughs> so, March we we sold seventy seven places, so we were basically sold out. Hey, this is Ryan Levesque here, and I'm really, really excited for this interview here today because we're going to be talking about a couple who has used a quiz funnel in their business in sort of a weird niche business, not a business that you might typically expect to get some incredible results. And uh, I'm not going to spoil what those results are just yet. We're going to talk about those in just a moment, but I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the quiz. We're going to share the results and we're going to share some of the biggest lessons learned along the way. So um, with that being said, I'm really excited to welcome uh, the amazing couple to our interview here today. Thomas and Gabby Rast. Thomas and Gabby, it's great to have you both here. Hello, nice Hello. to be here. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> before we dive right in, you've got to tell me, first of all, um, where in the world are you right now? And secondly, tell us a little bit about your business, this, this niche that I've alluded to. What do you sell and who do you serve? Okay. So we live right now in the middle of France, but we are not French. Thomas is from Germany. I'm from Austria. And um, we are serving horse women. <laughs> we are in the horse training business, and we have our main course is a course that helps horse women to improve the relationship with the horse, so they can actually enjoy every moment they spend with the horse. Because reality is, uh, many horse owners actually have a lot of little troubles and don't enjoy the horse, the time with the horse. So that is our business. <laughs> How did you how did you get into this business? Like, how, how, what's the story? How did it happen? What's your background? All right. Well, I'm a horse crazy person since ever. I'm not born in a horse family. I've just been horse crazy, and I decided to make this my <laughs> wow my profession. And uh, well, so now I'm working since fifteen years as a professional, and we started to go online. Uh, a bit more than one and a half years ago. Yeah. I wrote a book two years ago. That was the beginning of it all. And then with that, we went, we started to go online. So just a year and a half online. Like, I can't believe that. Like, yeah. the results that we're going to share here in just a moment are crazy. But a year and a half, that's like, yeah. you know, a blink of an eye. That's, that's really, really cool. Yes. Um, all right, so, so we're going to talk about your quiz funnel here in just a minute and some of the results that you've gotten. But, but before we do that, um, let's talk a little bit about what life was like before. So what was your online business like before launching your quiz funnel just a few short months ago? Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, our first sale uh, we actually made in, in uh, autumn 2019. Uh, very careful, uh, thirty-seven uh, dollar product. And we and, were really scared and excited. <laughs> yeah. you think, and, are, and they gonna, we, are they going to refund it? Are they going to like? Yes. Are they going to keep it? All the fear, right, going through your mind. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and we had a we had a really small list and uh, some followers on on Facebook, and it pretty quickly dried out. You know, it was. It was successful for the for the resources for the list we had, but it was like a lemon. You squeeze <laughs> once and nothing comes anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. And and um, then when the global pandemic hit uh, the world, we were actually right there in place with our book funnel, and everybody went online and and we had great success yeah. with our book funnel. Mm. So we really built good. our list. Uh, uh, with the book funnel, and and um, so we built some following there, and we had success. We had uh, successful months in May, ten thousand a couple couple of months with ten thousand uh, dollar revenue, and uh, we even had one quarter with uh, fifty thousand before, but. It right out again mm. <laughs> because the book funnel, the book funnel wasn't uh, working as well anymore, and we had no uh, real strategies to fix it. Mm. Okay, and I think that's what I think that happens often is um, you know if you have a 
uh, a, a list of referrals or you have a personal you know, contact list or you do something like you launch a book, there's like that initial spike, which is great, but then it kind of starts to you know, die off and then you ask yourself, okay, now what? Like, where do we go from here? Um, and if I'm not mistaken, that's about the time when you decided to kind of go down this path of creating a quiz funnel in your business. Is that, um, is that about right in terms of the timeline of events? Yeah, that is about right. Uh, I was excited about quizzes before and uh, I tried to build one and uh, I noticed pretty quickly uh, it's a different story to take a quiz than to build a quiz. <laughs> yeah. You see a quiz funnel from the outside as a quiz taker and you, and you think, how hard can this be, right? Like it's just, yeah. there are a couple of questions out there. This is going to be really simple. But once you've gone through the process of creating it, it's sort of like going to a nice restaurant. You eat the meal and you say, it looks so simple. But then when you realize the steps that are involved to create it, you kind of see, mm -hmm. ah, okay, now that I've seen how the master chef has prepared this yeah. dish, I've discovered that there are some secrets. And it's all about knowing these secrets in order to create something that works as well as it does. And um, yeah. you've got a quiz that's just in, in performing incredibly, which is really, really exciting. So um, let's, um, let's, let's do this. Before we talk about your after results, so we've got to set the stage of what's happening before. Um, um, uh, let's just take a quick look at the quiz. So I think this is something that's on everyone's mind. So um, I'm going to pull this up on my screen and uh, maybe you could talk to us a little bit about what we're seeing right here. Yeah, that is Gabi and her little herd of uh, Shagia Arabian horses. She loves uh, very much. <laughs> it's essentially me and my family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. And kind I of reflect, it. it reflects kind of uh, what people would almost want to have with the horse this togetherness. I love yeah. it. I can see the relationship with um, one yeah. of your horses right here. And um, yeah, yeah. Your, your family behind you leading the way. I love this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah. you've got this quiz. What's blocking you from enjoying every moment of your horse? Take this free three minute quiz to find out your number one relationship blind spot with your horse. And um, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time, but just to kind of give people a little bit of a view of what we're doing here is, you know, begin by asking a, a simple question. So uh, what we call the grease the wheels question, right? Um, and yes. then um, uh, we ask a series of questions about uh, what describes your horse: playful and extroverted, nervous and sensitive, calm and confident, shy and timid. Excuse me, shy and timid. Um, how do you describe the education? Where are you with your journey? Knows the basics, well educated. And we ask a series of questions like this to really understand where someone is at with their relationship with their horse. And based on that information, we put them in one of several buckets and uh, deliver some customized results. So in this case here, um, uh, your results are HCD, enter your name and uh, email and uh, type in your uh, email address here. And uh, because you are in the EU, operate in the EU, we've got the GDPR terms and conditions to be GDPR compliance. So we check that box off. Um, we click this continue button and uh, then talk to us a little bit about um, what happens next uh, in, uh, in the quiz. We come back to us here. So well, the next, next? Uh, yeah. the next uh, page is, um, um, there's a, a little video, Gabi explaining uh, the results and, and uh, providing some value that people really can feel the benefit, ah, oh, that was not just a stupid quiz uh, to get my email address. No, we really want to uh, give people the feeling they got something here yeah. for their time investment. I love it. And that's one of the things that, 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 you know, that I love so much about a well done quiz funnel is that you are able to deliver a tremendous amount of value in a very short amount of time to a complete stranger who, who's never heard of you, who doesn't know who you are, never heard of your business, and through that process, build up a tremendous amount of trust and demonstrate your expertise and your empathy toward their situation. And it sets you up really, really well to be able to make an offer, to be able to sell something to that a uh, perfect stranger who came across your little quiz on the internet um, and do it in a way that is more effective than anything I've ever seen in uh, my entire life. So, um, and you guys are doing this incredibly well. 
Um, so uh, we've seen the quiz. We've seen kind of what happens next. Um, everyone's dying to know, OK, let's talk uh, results here. So um, had an email list, you know, grew your audience, like the lemon, squeeze, no more juice left to squeeze, kind of fizzled out. <laughs> In just the last few months alone, talk to us about how many people have taken your quiz. What are the results so far on this quiz? Um, so we we launched our quiz, uh, I think, in October. End of October. Yeah, hmm. and uh, in the in in January we reached the ten thousand leads uh, generated by the quiz. That's incredible. And, uh, right now we we restarted it again. Uh, we we tweaked a little bit and stuff, and and we restarted the machine again and. Uh, it's still running like yeah. crazy. We are about now by 14,500 or something like yeah. that. So it's continuing to grow and uh, yeah, we are really excited about that. I love it. And, um, you know, to go from literally nothing to, you know, the most recent screenshot that, that I had um, on my screen here, it's crazy how fast it's grown since then. There's over 13,000 opt-ins. And, and what that means is in just the last few days alone, if that's grown to 14,500, it's, it's growing like crazy. Um, yeah, to go from an, an audience of n nothing, zero, um, uh, with respect to the quiz, to 14,000 people taking this quiz in just a few short months is, um, I mean, that, that'll, that, and, and this, by the way, is in a relatively, you know, in terms of global scale, relatively small market. Like, you know, yeah. there aren't too yeah, many yeah. people it's in a the small world market. that, that yes, have this. horses, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, the dog market is way bigger for yes, instance, it is. right? Yeah, yeah. and you know, yeah. think about markets like, you know, weight loss or, um, you know, way the marriage bigger. market or, yeah, all these yeah. markets are huge. Billions of people are in these markets, but the horse market is relatively small. So 14,000 people is, is, is huge. Now, let's talk a little bit about, um, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, revenue. So um, you talked about before the quiz. You had some months that you did, you know, maybe ten thousand uh, dollars a month, and that was a that was a great month. Um, last year, after launching the quiz in October, November, you had a, a pretty good month. Talk to us a little bit about what happened the month after you launched uh, the quiz in November last year. Yeah, in November we saw the uh, the first results, and uh, November was also especially good because of the of our Black Friday offer. Mm. Uh, what we also, every every credit goes also to, to yeah. the Ask Method uh, business coaching because uh, we learned everything there. Um, but in November, we saw the first, we saw the first results of the quiz. But really uh, in, in January and in March, March was the best yeah. Incredible. Uh, up to now. Yeah, in <laughs> so, March we, we sold 77 places. So we were basically sold out. So we have, we have our main course, the 30 day relationship fast track. We made it as a skittle actually mm. already last year in May. It's now one year old. Um, and each time we have 50 to 70 places to fill. Mm. And before we had the quiz, we kind of really had trouble to even fill halfway. Wow. Yeah. And thanks to the quiz, we really managed to build up a super hot waiting list of last time we had 500 people on the waiting list <laughs> for 70 places. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we were sold out before actually the, the time was over and we had to close enrollment. Yeah, I had to stay up all yeah. night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, main, our main market is uh, the English speaking uh, country. So, and the biggest market of course is the US market. Yeah, and so our quiz uh, ends uh, midnight. Uh, EST. Yeah, EST. And and so I had to. Uh, I saw in the evening. Oh, it's getting close. And Gabi said, "Well, we cannot have more than seventy people uh, <laughs> because it's with support, you know." And I she, don't manage. More. Yeah, she cannot handle more. Yeah. And uh, so I was uh, staying up at night and, and waiting for the moment where, where it was too much and building, rebuilding the sales page so that I can offer it without support. And we sold seven places without support on top. So wow. that was great. Yeah. That was really cool. You know, I love that story so much because, you know, I like to say a quiz is, um, you know, leads are the lifeblood of any business. 
And when you have a quiz funnel like this, you're constantly able to build this wait list. And whenever you launch or open up a new program, you never wonder where that next sale is gonna come from. It's like uh, having a, a restaurant and there's a line of people outside the door. And as soon as yeah. you decide to open up the door, people are gonna rush inside the restaurant as opposed to trying to figure out and find where's that next buyer, where's that next customer gonna yeah. come from. You have that line of people that are waiting outside your door so that anytime you decide to open up the doors, next time you launch that program or reopen that program, you're gonna fill it up in a very short amount of time. So um, yeah. you know, it's really, really exciting. And in, in comparison with a, with a normal uh, lead magnet, uh, people are actually spending time with you, yeah. giving their thinking about uh, uh, their situation, giving you information, sharing with you. I mean, it's I cannot think about a better way to to indoctrinate people, right? Yeah. And to and and they kind of say, here, it's my topic. I'm interested. I have a problem, so they they deliver you everything on on the silver. Platter, I think that's yeah. the expression. <laughs> I love it. You know, so um, you know, to bring things back, uh, you pre-quiz a great month for you, ten thousand dollars a month. November, month after launching the quiz, I think you guys mentioned that you had your first twenty-five thousand dollar month. If I have that correct, is that is am I? Do I have my numbers yeah, correct there? November. November yeah, 20, so November, first yeah. $25,000 yeah. a month. And then first quarter of 2021, your first $50,000 quarter, a $50,000 quarter. And then just last month, I'm looking at the numbers right here, uh, over $20,000 in revenue. And uh, um, I'm thinking to myself, like you could have a record quarter in front of you here, uh, the way things are picking up and the way things are growing. I mean, this is, this is pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is indeed exciting, and um, um, so it, it still feels not really real, right? Because we 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 feel uh, we still feel like beginner, and yeah. actually we don't know what we are doing. But in fact, we actually know already a little bit better what we are doing than yeah. one year ago, and uh, yeah, and uh, the quiz is uh, definitely. Um, our way to to go and to operate. Yeah, yeah. It's such a it. reliable source of leads. It's really it's it's it creates some kind of peace. We don't need to stress about new leads anymore. Yeah, mm. I love yeah. that, and I think that's I think that's so important is um, to wake up every month knowing exactly where your next customer is going to come from. And like you said, you can go to bed and be at peace, not worried that the, the lemon's going to squeeze mm -hmm. out and, and yeah. there's going to be no more juice. And where do we go from here? Um, yes. So, so in yeah. the last few minutes that, that we have together before we, we need to wrap things up, the, the final question I'd really love to ask, ask you both, and you can each share your perspective on this, is you know, for, there are people watching this right now. They're hearing your story. And they may be in the situation that, that you were both in not too long ago. Maybe they're just starting their business. Maybe they're in the, the early stages of their business. Maybe they're where you were when your online business was just a dream. It was just something that you, 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 you wanted to do, but you hadn't even started. And so my question to you is, what would you say to someone who's watching this right now? They've heard your story. They've seen the numbers. They've... Um, you know, they've heard our conversation. They're thinking about signing up. You know, maybe it's the quiz funnel training that they're thinking about joining us for, but they're on the fence. They're saying, do I spend the money? Do, is it worth it? Is it, is it really as good as, as what Ryan says it is to be? What would you say to someone right now who's watching this that's um, on the fence? Well, I would say enrolling in the Quiz Funnel Masterclass because that is that was our first step into into your world uh, was really the best uh, thing we could do and and uh, yes, it is an investment and yes, maybe you have to choke on it. But uh, if you do, if you are willing to put in the work, follow the steps, then there is actually no way around on on having success you will generate leads if you if you follow the process mm -hmm. step by step and don't try to uh to bring all your own ideas in first right because we have the tendency to, to do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, then, uh, then I think you have the, a really, really high chance that you build your own lead generation machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is, as you said, that's the life, that's the blood of the business. You need to generate leads. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, well listen, um, you... uh, Gabby, yeah, please, please. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I follow Thomas's lead on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think yeah, I what, Gabby, what, I, what I'd love to ask you is, you know, cause I think a lot of people are in this, um, you yeah. know, they, they may be in a situation where they have a, a partner, a, a spouse, they may be a, a, a couple and, and it may be that one person in the relationship is, um, you know, watching this right now and they're, they're ready to dive in, but then they've got a partner. Someone who may not be either as on board, or they might not, um, you know, have have, you know, they, they might not fully be as excited about, um, you know, jumping in, yeah. or they might have questions that they just aren't as familiar with as the other person. Um, what would you say to someone who's kind of in in that uh, situation that maybe you might have been in, like you said, where you were following um, uh, Thomas uh, into the um, into the unknown? <laughs> <laughs> so Thomas is always the one who goes forward and takes risks. I am the really cautious one. I'm afraid to spend money and uh, because I never had a lot, I'm really, really cautious about spending money and especially this much at once. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know if we want to be successful in our business, we have to take those risks. Yeah. And knowing now, seeing the after results on how well this lead machine works and how well these leads convert in, uh, into our uh, course, well, it for sure paid off multiple times. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad that you took time to, to share that part of your story. So thank you so much. Well, listen, um, uh, I, I just want to say before we wrap things up, it's, it's so cool watching your journey. And uh, this is why I do what I do, to see you know, people like you who are literally taking something that was once just a dream and actually making that dream happen. And yeah. uh, I love this so much because it takes me back to that very moment when I was in my career. And for me, it was with me and Tylene, my wife. Um, and uh, we were sitting in a position that's not that dissimilar from the situation that you're sitting in right now. And I've seen what's happened in our business since then. And I just see that as your future. I just see yeah. that this is just the beginning of your story. And uh, I want to encourage you to cherish this time because this is a time that you'll look back on and you'll say, remember when, <laughs> remember when <laughs> things were just so simple. It was just the two of us <laughs> and you've taken that to the next level and the next level and the next level yeah. after that. Yeah. And the future is yeah. very exciting and it's very bright, bright for both of you. And um, you know, I'm just really grateful for you to share your story and just really excited for what's ahead. Well, um, thank you very much. And uh, I can say that we are very grateful that we that we found you and your program because it gives us really, really a lot. It yeah. gives us um, it gives us guidance. It gives us, it gives us accountability. It provides a, um, a community and structure. Everything, everything what we need uh, to to develop as as business yeah. owner and uh, that yeah. is really cool and the start was a first final yeah. uh, master class and we are yeah. absolutely happy that we could join them because i'm just a horse girl i didn't learn anything about marketing nothing about funnels nothing about business at all and still we made it yeah <laughs> but we couldn't without such a coaching program actually yeah that's Love really it. cool yeah. thank you so much well, thank you both so much, so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to catch up again uh, sometime soon and uh, continuing the journey together. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
You heard from Thomas and Gabby here and their story of how they literally started this brand new business in a relatively obscure niche um, and how much they've grown that business since on the back of a quiz funnel that's generated so far to date over 14,000 leads uh, that's led to their biggest, most successful months in their entire business um, and how they continue to grow going from 10,000 a month to 25,000 a month to 50,000 a quarter and beyond selling out of their program programs uh, because of the demand that uh, they've been able to create on the back of this quiz funnel and this is really just the beginning. So uh, if you'd like to find out more uh, or join us in the exact training, exact program and exact um, uh, workshop that uh, Thomas and Gabby went through to get those results, simply follow the instructions on this page or post. You can go to the link quizfunnelworkshop.com and that'll take you directly to where you want to go. Make sure that you sign up. It's something that we only make periodically available a few times um, uh, uh, over the course of the year and uh, your timing is perfect if you're watching this right now because it means that um, this is coming up around the corner. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap things up. Once again, this is Ryan Levesque and please join me in thanking Thomas and Gabby for taking time out of their schedule to share a little bit about their story. With that being said, take care, talk soon. I look forward to seeing you inside the Quiz Funnel Workshop.